I'm Dr David Waterhouse, Senior Curator of Natural History at Norfolk Museum Service. This is one of my favourite fossils. When I show it to children in Hamden collections, they guess that it could be a sabre-toothed cat tooth, or even some sort of ancient shark fin. But when we compare it with this Victorian African hippo skull, we can see it's actually one of these huge canine teeth. Now, hippos are famously grumpy territorial animals in Africa, and they kill more people there than lions or even crocodiles. I seriously would not want to get in one of these way. What's amazing about this fossil is, this is a Norfolk native hippo. Okay, so it dates to around 800,000 years ago, but we now know that there were people around at these times. They weren't the same species as us, but they were our distant ancestors and cousins. Now, this dates from the Ice Age. And when you think about the Ice Age, you think of things like woolly mammoths, woolly rhinos, reindeer even, lots of ice sheets and snow. So what on earth was a hippopotamus doing here during the Ice Age? Well, during Ice Ages, you get periods of extreme cold, but also warmer periods. And technically, we're in one of those warmer periods now. In a warm period around 800,000 years ago, we had hippos on the coast of North Norfolk. And what's amazing about the environment then was, it's actually really similar to the temperature we get today. Just imagine the Norfolk Broads, but without those kind of awful white gin palace boats with hippopotamus roaming around, a few of our distant ancestors or cousins, and maybe the odd spotted hyena. And you've got a pretty accurate picture of what it would have looked like then. That's why this is one of my favourite fossils. Hippos actually got here to Britain under their own steam and were living quite happily in what's effectively now the Norfolk Broads.